Okay, let us discuss problem number 2.27. So this says, a thermally insulated vessel containing a gas whose molecular mass is m. So we have a vessel and this is thermally insulated. So the vessel is thermally insulated. Molecular weight of the gas is m. So this contains some gas and the molecular weight of gas is m. Gamma is also given. Gamma that is Cp by Cv. That is also given to you. Moves with a velocity b. So this cylinder is moving with a velocity b. Find the gas temperature increment resulting from a sudden stoppage of the vessel. So this vessel is moving with velocity b. Suddenly this vessel stops. So the vessel stops suddenly. So sudden stop. You have to tell me what is the increment in temperature. So due to the sudden stoppage, what will be the increment in temperature of the gas? Let us try to understand why there is an increment in temperature. You see, this is moving, so the gas molecules are also moving. Suddenly this stops, but the gas molecule gets a still, a still it has velocity. So what will happen? This molecules will going to collide with the back ball. They can also collide with the back wall. Molecule can collide with the molecule itself. Some molecule can also collide with these balls. Mainly they will collide with this ball because moment of inertia. So inertia, they, these molecules having velocity b, the vessel stops, but these molecules still has velocity. So what will happen? They will collide with the ball. Due to this collision, there will be some heat will be generated. So due to collision of molecule. due to collision of so son collision of molecule with rear ball will generate heat are you getting and that's why there is a increment in temperature now I can apply energy conservation. So initially, these gas molecules, molecular mass is m, they are having some kinetic energy. Let us say inside this, there is a total molecules, mass of gas molecules is m. So kinetic energy will be half m v square, where m is the mass of gas molecules. m is the mass of gas molecules are getting so this is the initial kinetic energy that this system has now it suddenly stops so where this kinetic energy will go this kinetic energy will be changed into internal energy so internal energy of the system will be that is n c v d t now I can apply change in kinetic energy, that is the initial kinetic energy is half mv square, final kinetic energy is zero, so change in kinetic energy is half mv square, this should be equal to change in internal energy. So change in kinetic energy is half mv square minus zero, this is equal to n c v d t. You have to find d t, so what will be the d t? So d t will be half mv square divided by n into cv and n is nothing but number of moles so n is number of mole this can be written as mass divided by molecular weight everybody knows so if i plug this value delta t is equals to half m m by m so m goes up into v square into cv so this mass cancels out so we will have delta t is equals to half m b square if you want you can write cb in terms of gamma so cb is r by gamma minus 1 so gamma goes up so i will have delta t 
that is increment in temperature is mv square gamma minus 1 divided by 2r so this is the increment in temperature delta t I think all of you have copied this one now in this problem we have only one important point that is the gas molecules are going to collide with the rear ball and that's why there will be system will be heated now this heat cannot go outside because the system is thermally insulated vessel is thermally insulated so whatever the heat that is generated inside the vessel is going to only increase the temperature there is no other way by which that heat can in generated can be lost because the system is thermally insulated so whatever the heat has been generated will increase the temperature of the system an increase in temperature can be found by change in internal energy that is ncvdt now if i apply the energy conservation that is the lost energy of kinetic energy is equals to gain in internal energy so from there i can find delta t this is the simplest problem easy problem we'll discuss the next problem